Weather Authority Local Forecast. So maybe Adonis, Jenny, and I can start a GoFundMe to you know, take a quick flight to the north. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll be the, right back. <laughs> yeah, get the stargazing going and then fly right back. All right, let's take a look at what we're seeing with your RV worldview in the sky cam. We got a bit of a murky view, and I think we may have some video of what we've experienced today in part as far as, yes, the severe weather is concerned. We've had heavy rain. We've had lightning. And there it is right there from the Yuma perspective. You see the drops falling there, so very well shot indeed from that particular vantage point. Uh, amazingly enough, the, the actual weather station Yuma didn't record any measurable rain, but we know we got some good rain here in the desert southwest, as you can see it coming down just outside our station. So we thank all those who participated in getting those shots for us. And oh yeah, we were very active today, but not so active at this particular time, at least for the moment being a very busy monsoon season that we're having here compared to what we've had in recent years. All right, here's what we're looking at with your satellite radar perspective. And well, we're kind of fast forward things a little bit. You can see that all the active weather seems to be going toward the east. I mean, we've had it kind of flush into the desert southwest and now it's kind of spreading its wings outward like what we've seen yesterday from northern Arizona spreading its wings toward us. Now it's kind of the opposite effect. As you can see, things have quieted down, but we've had a severe thunderstorm warning a little bit earlier on in the Yuma area or just south of Yuma, Summerton into San Luis. And of course, we've had flooding concerns to go along with that. We've had a flash flood uh, advisory a little bit earlier. Now we still have a flash flood warning in effect until 7 p.m. because of the fact that you get one to two inches of rainfall dropping in a very short period of time and there's nowhere for that water to go. And oh, by the way, Highway 95 between, I believe, markers 109 to 119, if I'm not mistaken, uh, could be dealing with some flooding right there. So be careful, be advised if you take to the roads, especially uh, Highway 195. As you can see, temperatures uh, not looking too shabby because of the rainfall that we've had in this area. Other areas, though, we've risen to the occasion, especially with the dew points and the heat indice factor. Tonight, we're expecting that same pattern to play out, but it's not likely going to be as dramatic as what we've had uh, earlier this afternoon. And for Thursday, a similar pattern is going to unfold, but we may not be in the crosshairs as much, but there's still a chance we could get some showers and thunderstorms nonetheless. Your Metrocast, 92 degrees by 7 p.m. will be around the 88 degree mark as we get on to the midnight hour. Of course, we're going to be soupy the whole way through. And of course, for your air quality index presented uh, by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, we've got a bit of a mixed bag. We got good to moderate air quality. All in all, not a bad deal for us in the Imperial Valley. Here's a look at what we're seeing with your extended forecast. The next chance of, or significant chance of showers and thunderstorms could be held off until Monday of next week for not only the Yuma area, but the Imperial Valley as well. So a little break, guys, and then we could be back at it early next week.